Well, the real reason I went to that auction, of course, was to buy the minivan that I have that I love now. It wasn't to buy that thing. It was to buy that bandsaw, too. That's a Rockwell commercial bandsaw. And I want to finish chopping up my air conditioner rads to make more money when the scrap prices go back up. Using a Sawzall works just fine, but it sure is hard on your nerves feeling all those vibrations and pushing hard in your right arm. This handy dandy machine at the auction works perfect and it only cost me $225. It'll do a real good job on all that shit. See you gotta cut off the metal ends that are made of steel, knock off the little copper tubes, throw the steel away, and save the radiators to get some value. Got all my batteries put away for the winter. I keep charging them every couple weeks. Now for a better look at the bus. Check out its condition. It's the first sunshine we've had all week. Doesn't appear to be anything wrong with the back end. I wonder if you can get in one of these emergency doors from outside. Oh yeah, no problem. Cool. I mean school. Well, I guess that means maximum fine 2000 if you don't stop and pick up chicks. So now to do a cold start since it's a cold day. <clears throat> Holy fuck. One of my old pals in the bus feels just like home now. It belongs at Dave's farm. Cool. Fucking bees. Anyways, every seat on this bus is perfect and shiny and not a mark on it. It's almost like no kids ever drove in it, at least not the kind of kids I grew up with. Not a cigarette burn. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these seats, but it would be a shame to get rid of such beautiful seats. So let's do a cold start. Uses a General Motors key. And here we go. The fuck is, oh, the buzzer is telling me that the back door is open. Maybe I should go close that. Oh, sweet. That starts up fast just like before. Alrighty, time to close the door. There we go. Well, the height inside the school bus, I guess, is about six foot one, because I'm six foot tall, there's just a little bit of space there. Of course, we're in Canada, so everything's gotta be in French and English. Did all you kids ever wanna try one of those things? Cool. Well, it's been running about 30 seconds now. No bad smells or smoke. It's got good tires on the front. There's where you put your diesel in. Looks like the only corrosion on the whole vehicle is those two little spots at the bottom of the doors. Back tires got some good tread too, but not perfect. And no corrosion whatsoever on the outside of the bus or marks or damage. Looks like this side's good too. Oh, hand warmer, yeah. Now the next problem, how good is it in snow? There's a lot of fresh snow and I want to move it out. There's a white sticker on the side covering up the lettering, but it says Murphy Bus Lines underneath. Still got all the mirrors in great condition. So let's see if this pig can get itself out of here. And a cushion air chair. Cool. Now the gear shifter is over here. It doesn't even have a park position. So I guess I just put it in reverse. Oh, something's happening. Now let's see if it'll move. Um, no, it ain't moving. Uh-oh.
Sox. Time for the dozer. Well, now for the blow-by test. Got the oil cap off. There's nothing coming out there. Nothing. Look at that. Piece of paper on the hole. See that? That's a good tight motor. Yup, 190 horsepower. She's electronically controlled, direct index injected diesel. So that means the injectors are underneath the rocker cover, controlled by relays, controlled by that computer that's in the, underneath that box. Well, now I'm underneath the sucker. My first time looking under here. What a big honking muffler. Looks like it's got a brake on the drive shaft. No leaks on the transmission oil pan. And no leaks on the engine oil pan. Sweet. I already checked the floor. There's no rust holes or anything like that. In the now, what's in this box? Oh, two big commercial, looks like 12 volt batteries. Sweet. That's handy. After checking everything over, it looks like just before I got it, the oil was changed, all the grease joints were moved up. It was all prepped for winter. Really well maintained. There's that diesel computer. Man, you know what the problem is with school buses? They don't have a radio. Every kid loves music. I mean, imagine children going to school listening to Peter, Paul, and Mary or the Sandpipers. Imagine the smile on their face and how better their marks would be on, you know, once they got to school. I mean, what, what is it without a radio? Well, I've got a spare Dodge radio. That's going to have to do for now. Some big honking speakers in the rear. That kicks some ass. They don't need to leave a place in the dashboard to put the stupid thing. Well, it doesn't look like I got much fuel left. Idle's nice. Now to figure out this control panel. Strobe. Well, that's that flashing light on the back of the roof that tells you when the orgy started. Let's see. Oh, heated mirrors. Oh, I don't even have that in my luxury van. ID marker. Well, I guess that turns on something outside. Interior. Oh, yeah. And driver's dome. Cool. And dual heater switches. Yeah, I can hear them blow. Oh, no. That's redneck air conditioning. Cool. And this is, um, says master. Oh, I guess it does those flashing lights. And there's um, some sort of other flashing light thing. I guess they work together. And defroster. Oh yeah, it sounds like it's working good. And you got a right heater and a left heater. That's working good. And you got a right wiper. Yeah, that's working. And a left wiper. That's working. That's waving at the fans. And what else do we got? Oh yeah, we got a plumbing knob down there. That turns on the water valve to send through the heating system that runs along the edge of the floor. Emergency brake over here on the left. Seems like it works good. Guess you gotta have it since there's no part. It appears to have a four-speed automatic. And handy dandy, your windshield washer jugs on the inside. Sweet. Still gotta find a place to put that damn radio. I wonder what that button's for. I don't know. And of all things, they left a little ice box and beer holder. You could put a, you know, half full of ice and at least two or three beer in there. Sweet. Imagine driving down the road with a load of kids and having that half a car pass you. That ought to freak somebody out. And someone stole my fire extinguisher. 
But since it says emergency, I guess we could always put our emergency beers in there in case we run out. And I guess we gotta change that to 1-800 for a good time. So turns out she's a damn nice bus and I actually can't find a single thing wrong with it. Why the hell did someone get rid of it? Oh well, hell of a deal for me anyways. Got to get that sticker changed too so this vehicle stops at all beer stores. And we got to lose that S and an H so it's a cool bus. Yeah, that's the way I like it. Well, I never dreamed in my whole life that I would be standing here one day looking at my own bus when I just went to buy a minivan.